So maybe you want to get into making podcasts. Maybe you want to sing some songs. Maybe you want to live stream. And if that's you, well, I think this is a product that's worth looking into. And it's called a... Bear with me because this is actually the name of it. The Sabbing Tech Sabbing Cast Bluetooth Sound Card Mixing Console with Condenser Microphone. And yeah, this is what I'm actually using right now to record this so you can hear this throughout the whole video knowing exactly what it sounds like. And there's a lot of really cool features and functions that I want to show you, so uh, let's get into it. Master Black. Welcome to the channel, my name is Danny Black and I love to review cool gear that comes my way, so don't be a stranger. I'm not making this video to sell it to you. Sabbing Tech did send this to me to review and I really just wanted to have a look at it, try it out and share it with you, the person that might be interested in buying it. It does come in two boxes. One is a microphone and the other is the interface. So as you can hear, the microphone is actually pretty good and it does come with an XLR to eighth inch cable and adjustable mic stand. With the interface, you have a lot of cool features. I don't even know where to start. So let's just work our way from left to right. On the left side, you get a volume and auxiliary slider and they actually feel really well made. Moving over from that, you can actually custom EQ your microphone. Down here at the bottom, you have a numeric pad where you have little shortcuts, little sound effects. Whoa. Now one through five is actually built into it, but uh, six through nine, you can do your own custom ones. I don't know why you can't just make them all custom, but that's the way it is. Moving over from that, you have some other preset buttons to turn your monitor on and off. You have ducking, which is great. So if you are doing some kind of radio station hosting and you have music playing and you start talking, you'll notice the music will duck down. So this little lightning bolt is where you can actually set a key. Basically, it will auto-tune your voice to that certain key. That way you don't have to worry about sounding terrible. And then you have voice changing options. A uh, female. Male. So this is what my voice would sound like if I was more manly. Uh, monster voice. Baby voice. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. Okay, I don't know how I feel about that. During the reverb on there, you have pop, pro, host, karaoke, and MC. And uh, you can adjust it with the reverb knob. You can adjust how much actually comes through. And then you have a big knob for the microphone gain. So depending on how loud you want it, how far away you are from your mic, you can uh, pump that gain up. And so this does have Bluetooth options, but uh, I'm not exactly sure. I believe there's an app. I have not found it yet. I've been looking for it. Uh, to where you can connect through Bluetooth. Now, one of the cool things I love about this is it has a long lasting rechargeable battery. They say 24 hours. Maybe just you and your laptop and your microphone and this thing, and you can be out podcasting wherever you wanna be. And it doesn't have to connect to your laptop. You can connect it to any other audio recording device. Now, the back part of this is kind of the more confusing part and probably where I can find negatives to this. You do have your USB connection where you can go out of the micro USB and it splits off either to a TRS connection for a camera or a USB a type connection to uh, be an interface for your computer. Then you have two phone connections where they give you these micro USB-C to TRRS connectors and then you can hook your phone in to play music or sound effects or whatever. Then you have your headphone jack which they call earphone and then they have the headset jack so if you're a gamer and you have one of those cool headsets that's where you'd put it there. I don't have one of those. And then they have the microphone one and two connections which are eighth inch jacks but the problem with these kind of ports is that they can get really noisy when you touch them. And I will give you an example of what it sounds like when you touch them, how finicky they are, but I'm gonna give you a three second warning because it's a very unpleasant sound. Three, two, one. So is that a deal breaker? Well, first let's look at the price. <laughs> wow, they actually have a special happening right this second where it's 50% off. That's a great price for this little system right here. I am not sure how long that will last, so do check out the link. So there we go. Thank you, Sabbing Tech, for sending me another really cool device that I can play around with and show off to my viewers. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this and you found this helpful. If you did, please uh, give it one of these things right here. Also, I do have memberships if you want to see some more behind the scenes content and live stream hangouts. You can kind of get a little tour of my office as well. And I have a weekly podcast talking about tech and the YouTube creator life. If you want to check that out, it's a live stream every week and you can uh, participate. So just uh, go over, click subscribe and click the bell and come watch us live. It's really fun. All right, guys, I will see you on the next one. And that's the end of the video. <laughs> Boom.